And what up everybody, welcome back to Pro Publications YouTube channel. I'm just trying to talk about zines and DIY publishing. Uh, I was going to do a zine review, but I feel like I haven't given any updates in quite a bit of time. And, and I kind of wanted to do that. As you guys know, this month thus far uh, in January 2021, Pro Publication has grossed more than 200 bucks. So that's a fucking hit. And when you compound that with what it grossed last month, it really does feel like we have traction now. And like things are moving forward. Uh, one of the things that I've been working on pretty intensively right now has been the Halloween magazine, kind of formulating ideas and thoughts and kind of, uh, I guess, creating a, a, the this, this spread of it all, like how I want it to flow and kind of some of the things that I want to be in there. And a lot of what I do plan to do with the Halloween magazine as well is not only talk about horror movies and things like that and like the horror genre but also DIY tactics to make these things. Um, so that's something I also want to have in there. Um, uh, someone mentioned collages. Thank you so much for that. Like definitely, I think I think I haven't thought about as much collaging as I as I should probably be thinking about and have them based upon themes. So I'm not too good at collage art, but I'm gonna try to figure out kind of what is the metric and, and seeing the aesthetic and basically giving out, I guess, those prompts. I've also been working on the, the next Medium article, which will be basically on how Feral Publication will be taking submissions and paying out people for zine reviews on the Medium platform or any zine-related information um, and, and basically what that metric is and how to submit for that. So that's another thing that's been taking up a lot of my time just because I want it to be clear. I feel like with the Feral Comics Project, one of the problems I've had for a long time is that People that have known me on a one-on-one -on -one basis kind of understood what I was doing because they know me. But as it's grown and like I get contacted by people that don't necessarily know me as a person, never watch the YouTube channel, nothing, right? They don't fully understand what I'm doing or, or what I'm up to. And so my assumption is like as, as we're growing, right? As for a publication, this thing that we're building together is growing. I need to make it clear so that anybody can jump in on day one and not lose a beat and kind of know where we're at and what we're up to. You know what I mean? So that's where that's been at. Um, kind of jumping back to the Halloween magazine, another thing I was doing was kind of like pricing it out and seeing how many potentially I can plan to print or have made because if I could buy a better printer to make it myself, I would do that. But... I'm not too sure how that's going to land, but as of right now, I've been doing the homework, basically assuming that I will be sub, uh, subbing that out and having a company make them for us. And at that point, I basically am planning on rolling out a pre-order kind of system, and then basically I will buy a hundred on top of what I already have to get, meaning taking the pre-orders plus the contributor copies and then throwing an extra hundred on top of that. And so I've been pricing that out and trying to figure out how much I could viably sell them for and working on that kind of thing, which is something I'm more grounded in and I have a very good handle on. So that's some of the stuff that I've also been working on. And then lastly, Feral Comics issue number nine, man. It's been taking up quite a bit of my time. This issue is a larger issue. I really feel like it's coming together really, really strong. And it's just one of those things of like, you know, I take it as a learning process, everything that I'm doing and, and any small business needs to look at it from that perspective of like, whatever you're doing, you know, don't compete with random motherfuckers you've never met, right? Like my competition is with myself and I try to outdo everything that I do the next day, right? Meaning that I'm not competing with other companies. I'm competing with Feral Comics issue number eight. And, and so with that being said, like, like, I'm paying attention to the details and, and it matters and I, and I want it to get better with time. And uh, so it's taking a little bit longer than I would have hoped. I would have hoped that it would have been done already. But like I will say that I definitely feel this issue is a lot stronger. It's definitely a larger issue. So there's a lot more comics in it. And, uh, and we're just going to keep building this shit up, man. And for a lot of you guys that have been following the channel, you guys can see that the channel is growing. Uh, the Google ads that they gave me has been working to grow the channel. Definitely um, the affinity marketing is what they call it. So basically as I, I pay to have my video pop up next to videos that are similar to mine, that has been working. And so, you know, thank you to all the new subscribers. You know, a lot of them, that's the thing about what we're building here, man. Like 
people really do make an honest connection and then they reach out to me and they hit me up and they talk to me and all that, DM me. Love that shit, man. Keep it up, you guys. I fucking appreciate it. One other thing I want to mention, man, because uh, somebody hit me up on, on Instagram and uh, and I, I just want to say, like, I, I, I never want to ignore anybody and if I said I was going to get back to you and I didn't, it, that's just the human in me. You know what I mean? And, and as as on top of a lot of shit that I am, I'll drop the ball sometimes. And that's just going to happen. You know what I mean? So if I told you I was going to get back to you on anything and I haven't, just hit me up, man. Honestly, it's probably that I either forgot or I think in my mind that I already got back to you. Or a million and one things, but it won't ever be that I'm just blowing you off. That, that won't ever be the case. You know what I mean? And, and that's not to say that the person that uh, hit me up felt like I blew him off. But definitely I felt like, you know, damn, the homie should have hit me up a long time ago because I dropped the ball and I forgot. And so you guys can always help me out just by reminding me about certain shit or, or just, you know, giving me the heads up or following up with me. Like, I would appreciate it, man. Because like I said, uh, at the moment, I'm a one-man band and I try to do as much as I can. And uh, when I drop the ball, I'm hoping one of y'all motherfuckers can catch it. All right, you guys. Uh, that's all I got for you guys today, man. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And beyond that, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Lates.